Number one, it has been a difficult period of time. I think beginning in 2007 through 2008 were perhaps the most difficult financial years for all charities. Certainly they were a challenge for us. I think for the most part we've had to work a lot smarter and a lot harder with a very small development department. That's, that's been a challenge. Uh, we rely pretty heavily on grants and foundations, and many of the uh, organizations that have supported us in the past weren't able to over the last couple of years. We've been very fortunate um, to be able to sustain our level of fundraising through these very difficult times, um, but it has taken an extraordinary amount of effort on the part of our board, our volunteers, and our staff. Um, so what we've done is really increase the amount of um, cultivation of our donors and increase the amount of communication. You can't stop the investments in fundraising. And when you think about particularly the larger gifts at the top of the spectrum, where if you look at um, Americans at, at the whole ultra high net worth, that their wealth has gone up and, you know, consistently, uh, that you, you can't pause on those investments and they don't pay out immediately. So, you know, unless you're looking for really a hemorrhaging plan in the next six months, that you have to continue to make the investments in your fundraising efforts. We've really focused on uh, stewardship of donors, a lot of communication with our donors. We've been doing letters from the hospital presidents with updates. Uh, we started a telephone calling program that was not to solicit gifts, but strictly to update people who've been supportive. While a lot of organizations were cutting back on development staff during that period, I was actually adding staff because I think the sales force needed to be beefed up. We needed to obviously hit the streets with the message of what our charity does for kids and families. You really need to steward your closest donors and the people that have been good partners through thick and thin and understand that some people are, are feeling the pain and not give up on them because people do rebound and, and knowing that that will happen as well.